I'm good. We're joined the media center by our number one qualifier and pro stock, Greg Anderson, his 6.586 second pass of 209.69, earned him his fourth number one qualifying position of the year, his 97th of his career. Greg, talk about conditions today, a little bit different than what we saw yesterday, but uh, we proud or pleased with what you guys got accomplished uh, in these two sessions today. Yeah, I think so, because we had we had kind of two different situations. You had bright sun yesterday, and today we had cloud cover pretty much all day. You had a little bit of a, of a tricky racetrack yesterday. Today, the racetrack got real good. So, had to make a lot of changes to the race cars, and uh, we hit her on the nose this morning, and I ran real fast this morning, and, and we kind of made a conscious decision that Come Q4, you know, it's been all day, all day on the racetrack, a lot of cars down, it's a little bit warmer out, the racetrack's probably going to go away a little bit, so we back things down for the final round, we slowed right down, the racetrack was better than it was Q3, so the racetrack is gaining every run, so lesson learned, uh, you know, that, and that's why I didn't run as fast as I thought we could run on the last run, but, but it's still good knowledge going into race day tomorrow, and, and uh, I've still got a very fast, very consistent race car. Um, a lot of fast cars, as I said yesterday, and, and thousands make the difference between number one and number eight. It, it's just, it's crazy, but glad to get the bonus points. Glad to be on top, number one. That's, that's as good as you can set the field for tomorrow, in, in my case, and looking forward to it. I, I desperately need a good race day, a great race day, really, but I, I feel positive. I feel good. I feel we've learned a lot about the racetrack over the weekend, and, and we know what we have in a race car, and uh, it's ready to go do battle, so I'm looking forward to tomorrow. How do you want the weather to look tomorrow? Well, if you look at the weather forecast, it looks like we're gonna flop back to sunshine, full sunshine tomorrow. So another change again, but but that's okay. It's still gonna be good out there. And, and you know, the more cars that have gone down the racetrack and the more prep that it's got each run, it's just gotten better and better and better. It's not gonna lose a bunch tomorrow. Yeah, the sun will be out, but it's still, it's gonna be a good racetrack. You'll have to make a couple changes for, for the starting line, but once you get, you know, past the first 50 foot, there will be nothing wrong with the racetrack at all. So. You just have to play it on Sunday, a little bit different deal where you have to manage the first 50 foot, but then it wants all you can handle. And that's that's what pretty much every race day is. So we know the gig, we know how it works. And uh, I think we've figured out what we've been doing wrong on race day the last few races. So I'm feeling good going in tomorrow. We're gonna have to drive great, the car's gonna have to run great, the motor's gonna have to run great, as I said yesterday. But I feel confident we can get it done. Does, does being the top qualifier finish but unfortunately I'm the kind of guy that I come to these races to win and that's what's fun to me so I don't necessarily come worrying about just making a point or two more than the next guy I come to win a race that's that's what it's all about to me that's what what gives me the fuel to go to the next one that's what gives every guy that works on my race team the fuel to dig harder before the next race so you want to win and that's that's what it's all about and, and it's, it's never truer than, than to me what Ricky Bobby says if you're not first you're last so and the crazy thing about the class is as is going this year, somebody could be number one at the end of the year without winning a race or without winning more than one race, but I don't want it to be that way. I want to be the guy that wins the most races and wins the championship, so that's still the goal. I did have something to ask. 
Warren Johnson's been here today. Number one, has he stopped to see you? Okay, and number two, he's hinting that he might run a race next year. What would it be like? He's been hinting for a couple of years now. He just needs to go ahead and get it done. I don't quite understand the excuse. He's 40 miles from here. He should have his stuff here. So, uh, yeah.